and the extreme heat also brings up safety concerns, of course, for workers in the fields. Our Jocelyn Moran tells us how one local farm is working to avoid potential tragedy. Well, it's something that we may not often think about, but even in the heat, workers are still working for hours to ensure that there are fruits and vegetables in our grocery stores. With her long sleeve shirt, gloves, and hat to protect her from the sun, Veronica Mendez Arroyo started her day around 5.30 in the morning, weeding melons. Hot and with sweat, but Veronica says they've been doing this their whole lives. Nearly 20 years, she says she's been working for Del Bosque Farms. It's very important that people understand that people are out here um, braving these temperatures, uh, doing this hard work. It isn't easy work, it's hard work. Veronica says they fill up their water bottle and carry it with them. At the other end of the field, she says they fill it up again and again. She adds that the heat is especially tough on ag workers, experiencing it for the first time. Nearby, there's a mobile break room. This happens like a couple times a day? Yes, yeah. they do. They, they have a break in the morning, then they have lunch and then another break in the afternoon. But with the scorching hot temperatures, Joe Del Bosque says they'll tell them to go home early. So for something like today, uh, with the temperatures, what time do you think that they're going to be out? Well, we had heard that it was going to be 109 or 110, and so they're going to go home at noon today. But tomorrow, he says they could cancel the day. He adds that there are supervisors in the fields who are trained on heat stress prevention. And for the workers... Tenemos they say they also take care of each other. And Veronica says the work is essential for their bosses and for them who need the job. But the work they do is also essential for the community. Jocelyn Moran, KC24, Local News That Matters.